You can't shape me and mold me into something that I know that I'm not. So stop with bitches that already know who they are. If you want somebody you can shape, you can't shape me. You either like what I'm coming with or you don't. Bro, what are you talking about? Hey, this is Melvin. Uh, I texted you last night. You never responded back. Um, if you didn't want me to have your number, then why did you give it to me? That was kind of like dumb as hell. You seem like you're one of these little young, dumb-minded brides. You got your little rinky-dink minimum wage job at Marshall's, and you think you're the bomb and ain't even a firecracker wearing wigs like you some 90-year-old lady with no hair. And I thought you had a nice face and body, but... Beyond that, there's so many chicks in San Diego with that, and I got plenty of them, so I'm not about to be chasing you around. Honestly, I see no fault in what he did. If you're going to go out, you might as well go out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to take that L, at least get some type of W out of it. Get some type of satisfaction out of it. You're going to know how I feel. Going to sit there and reject me and not hear a piece of my mind. You're going to get a piece of this mind now. <laughs> you say you walk around with a wig on like you some 90-year-old woman with no hair. Like, yeah, we tell y'all not to have kids with men who already ignore you and let you know that you are unwanted. But we don't talk about not having kids with men who are obsessed with you. Because you might assume, oh, he's obsessed with me. Okay, it's safe to have this baby. But he's just trying to trap you. He's literally trying to trap you. And being obsessed with you will not make him a good father. I'm 26 years old. And for some reason, my dad, who... I don't communicate with, he does not talk to me, he doesn't reach out to me, we have no relationship. I mean, like, zero type of relationship. He literally goes around my hometown telling people that my mom is his baby mama. My father would pretend like he was calling to talk to me, but really he would call me and say, uh, tell your mama I got her some new jewelry. It was never about me. I was always just a way for him to get to my mama, and she would always tell me that, but I wanted a relationship with him so badly. He would lie and manipulate me to get to my mother, y'all. When I'm 26 years old, we didn't have a relationship till I was probably like 13, 14, when I'm 15, actually, when I started driving, and I was driving up to his house, when I went out of my way to be in his life, that's when we finally had a forced relationship. And every time I would go around him, he would ask about my mother. Mind y'all, this is a married man. He is married with like 10, 15 other kids who actually live in his house. I'm the outside baby, shit. But he's obsessed with my mom because she is the one who walked away. All he does is run around our hometown saying, Fred is my baby mama. Fred is my baby mama. How can you claim a baby mama and not claim a child? He literally wants everybody. What kind of advice is this? Don't get pregnant by a man who don't want you and ignores you. Also, don't get pregnant by a man who's obsessed with you. How about don't get pregnant by anybody if you're not in a marriage? By the time two people get married, hopefully they've done enough homework to know if this person is worth committing to, to the point where they're legally married, contractually. Sign that contract before you give her contractions. You see what I did there? It's like y'all journey to single motherhood is premeditated or something like that. You know good well you're going to be a single mother if you follow either one of those advices that she, or those suggestions advices. It's suggestions. Be in a committed relationship, a marriage, where you take vows and you don't divorce. Therefore, you've done your homework, you've prayed to God, and you figured out, is this somebody I should spend the rest of my life with if you're going to go ahead and have children with somebody? Because these, they, they need dads in the house, man. We need the mamas and the dads in the house, man. Get your finger out of my armpit. We're just happy to see Jalen Rose. Welcome again. This is why I don't believe men and women should work with each other in 2023 because of things like that. I don't even think it's wise to give a woman a friendly hug like Jalen Rose just did because you could be accused when you really didn't intend to do that and you weren't trying to. Because that decision and power is really left up to the woman because she determines what inappropriate or appropriate is in the first place. And she has that right to determine what's inappropriate or not because it's her body. So because you cannot tell a woman how she should feel in any particular situation, I just think it's just wise to just never touch a woman that's not your romantic spouse, romantic partner. Because you can clearly see, you look at the video, he didn't, I didn't, I, I could not identify him putting his finger in her armpit, like she said, get your finger out of my armpit. Where is the finger in the armpit? I said, passport bros, we don't have to worry. Foreign women are grateful. Yes, they are, because your money is worth more wherever you go. They're grateful. 
you know, that you're spending money on them. you still spending money on a woman, either where you go. We can get flued out and get money spent on us right here in America. More expensive. Way more expensive. Okay. Your Uber money go a long way south of the border. Your Uber money go a long way across Asia. But you have a good old time because, you know, you need to feel good about yourself, too, sometimes. You can't just be working Uber and call center all your life and not getting no rewards. So I, I commend Passport Brothers. I think y'all need to go where y'all money is valuable because it ain't valuable here. It's Although I know she's being very condescending, sarcastic, facetious, whatever word you want to use to describe what she's doing, what she's saying has a lot of truth to it and it makes a lot of sense. She's right. Your money over here don't really go nowhere. And if you're dating a modern woman, you might as well date a modern woman that's from out, out, out of the country because that woman's a whole lot cheaper to make happy. Um, Ladies, do not date a guy who has less than you. Less money, less ambition, less intelligence, less drive, less career. I know as black women, we are always, we're the only race, by the way, that is always um, motivated and we're always being told to date down and to not date up or look for more. When you date down, these men tend to become very jealous and envious and vindictive towards you when you have more than them and when you're doing more than them. And I've personally experienced that. It doesn't matter how sweet he is. They will always turn around and be jealous of you if you have more than them, if you're doing more than them. So don't date men who are not where you're at or above. In the very beginning, he's going to be very nice. He's going to be very charming. He's going to give you lots of sex. But I'm going to tell you what's brewing inside of him. That jealousy and that envy. He envies the fact that you are so ambitious. You're a go-getter. Everything that you have, you worked your ass off for it. Your college degrees, your home, your car, um, your job title, your career, uh, you know, the nice clothes that you wear, everything, your whole lifestyle, you worked your ass off for it. And he's not going to be able to hide his envy or resentment, but for so long in that relationship until he starts bullying you and degrading you. Then he will deliberately go out and find a woman the total opposite of you to cheat on you, to break you and humble you. If he's broke, then he's fucking miserable and he's going to make you miserable as well. The reason why this is all a bunch of BS is because women are naturally hypergamous, naturally. They don't date down, they only date up. So women don't need advice on how to not date down. Y'all do that naturally already. When a woman dates down, it's for one reason and one reason only, because she wants to have control. So although it is true that a man would be miserable if he made more money than him, if you were more ambitious than him and all those type of things, because it's just outside of the natural order of how the dynamic between a man and a woman's relationship is supposed to be, what really makes that man angry is when typically when a woman has a lot of money, she's career oriented, she's ambitious, Typically, in most situations, the guy that she's with that she dated down, she makes him feel like he's a little like he's a little boy. She talks to him crazy, disrespects him, and she makes it known that she has very little to no respect for him. So half of the time, the reason why that man is so miserable being with that woman is because of how that woman treats him. On top of that, he's probably looking at himself like he ain't where he's supposed to be. So, yeah, it is what she's saying. But at the same time, a lot of times women be treating them type of dudes like crap. Which is why I don't feel sorry for those type of women who date those pookies. Because you knew what you were signing up for and you wanted that power dynamic in the relationship. Those type of women don't want to get with a real man because a real man is more ambitious than them, more career oriented than them, more stern. So it's really bad advice to tell a woman not to date a man who don't have, who don't make more money than you. Because how many men are you really going to find that make a lot more money than you? These jobs are equal opportunity employers. They pay women and men the same amount of money and they, and they hire men and women for the same job positions. I say, if you're going to date a man, date a man who's just responsible, whether you make more money than him or not. If you date a responsible man who's not sitting on the couch eating Cheetos all, all day, like the pookies y'all been dating, then y'all have a better, a way better relationship. And y'all also have way better results in your relationship. But a lot of these people just need to go to counseling in general. They need to go to marriage counseling. Relationships are the only things that we do without instructions. Everything else we do with instructions, but relationships, we just wing it. If you want to learn how to play the piano, you take piano lessons. If you want to learn how to work a computer, you probably go on YouTube to look at a tutorial on how to work that computer. We get instructions for every other thing but relationships. And I'm telling you, a lot of us need that counseling and need those instructions that help us in our relationships because we just go on based on what we think is going to work. Are you two together? No, we're siblings. He's adopted, though. 
I know people people get like confused by it, but it's, yeah, because this and cause, then... yeah, because he's. Uh... Uh, do you think I'm attractive? Let me let me ask my brother. Is he attractive? Yeah, really slutty. Dude's majestic. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that just scarred me, bro. Uh, you know that's that's that. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm just, that's that's I, I, I don't even know what to. Y'all have a y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, that's